Hi, welcome to the 2020 Nottingham International Film Festival, and we're delighted to be joined by David Mamoudier and George Lako from the film Snake Dick. How are we doing, guys? Good. Hey, good. Glad to be here. And David, you were just telling me, although you are currently in sunny Los Angeles, you are a Nottingham local. Yes, well, f former local. I mean, I guess, you know, the, uh, the city's never, never left my heart, but I, I grew up there. I went to Horsendale Primary School and Kimberley, Co Kimberley Comprehensive, and uh, I was in Nottingham on, until I was a teen, basically. So uh, I have a big affinity for the city and I'm very uh, excited to be playing in, in, in our hometown. And George, you're not a native Los Angelian either. Oh, not really. Uh, I was born in Tirana, Albania, and then moved to Greece. So I'm a fellow European as well. And yeah, super excited to be a part of this festival. This is all Dave talks about because it's his hometown. So. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, so tell us a bit about uh, your film, Snake Dick. Yeah, so I mean, Snake Dick is a short film in its own right, but with, uh, with feature aspirations. It's kind of a, a tease for a longer version that we have in, in development. Uh, and it tells the story of, of two women on, on a journey across the Californian wilderness. Uh, while in possession of a, uh, a deadly and mysterious weapon, which the, the title may or may not have something to do with. Um, but thematically, the film is, is really a, a commentary on toxic masculinity and uh, a kind of metaphorical manifestation of male fear towards female empowerment. So it, it does have some serious themes, despite the quite ridiculous title. Cool. And what was your... So, David, you're the director. And then, George, what was your role um, on the film? I produced it. Produced. Cool. And so talk me through, um, one of the, the, the sort of location is quite integral to the film, the sort of look of the whole thing, the, the yes. neon and all that sort of thing. Did, was that, did it take you a while to find the location? Um, we knew about the location for a while, which is a, um, it, it's a gas station slash diner slash motel that is a standing set um, out in Palmdale, which is about an hour and about an hour and 20 minutes outside of LA. And um, apparently it was actually a, a set that was built for a, a very epic Madonna um, uh, video, music video that was supposed to happen. I don't think it ever did. And mm -hmm. her production designer ended, at least this is a story that we have about it. The production designer loved the set so much. He actually you know, bought it from production and now rents it out and has done for 20, 30 years as a set. And actually so many big movies have been shot there. To, there's a scene at the end of Terminator 2, where Sarah Connor pulls up in her Jeep. Uh, the gas station, that's that same gas station. I think it's also in the movie Identity and a bunch of others. So we knew it existed. The cool thing we liked about it was that you can reappropriate it in so many different ways. And you know, you shoot there in the day, it has a different look. You shoot there at night, it has a different look. And we wanted this very sort of neon heavy, you know, sort of feel and vibe to, to the piece. So um, we spent a lot of time lighting it the way that, you know, we, we, we wanted to present it on camera. And uh, we, we hope that we're able to do something unique with a location that has been used uh, a, a lot of times. Go on, George, in terms of uh, producing, obviously, Getting anything made is a, a huge achievement. What was the biggest challenge in the production of this film? Yeah, I think uh, probably the biggest challenge is shooting it all in one night and having a very short nightfall. I think we had about seven to eight hours to get this whole thing in the can. So yeah. that was the biggest challenge and gathering up a small crew and, you know, not having the key positions. You know, everybody had to do three jobs. So that was one of the biggest challenges. Yeah, a, a, a lot of people seem to think that we had like a, a huge amount of resources. I, I think just because, you know, we had this amazing location and, uh, and you know, we've got a lot of commentary on, on how great the film looks, which, you know, we're, we're really flattered by. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was super hard work. And we got there, at, uh, if, I, if I remember rightly, like about 8 p.m., I think we're allowed to use the space. It still wasn't really dark by then. We started lighting and then we were shooting by like, I think, I don't even think we were shooting until gone midnight. And then, you know, 5.30 a.m., the sun's coming up. So it was just a crazy, crazy pr production day. Um, but, you know, we managed to get it all in the can. And then it was about a year in post, just, you know, doing the snake and the music and everything else. So we're, we're glad to be, finally be able to, to release it actually because it's been it's been a lengthy labor of love fantastic and um, so the plan is to try and expand it from here to a feature format is that right 
Yes, and we, you know, we, we, we've already had some, some interest, which is amazing. So we're, we're very excited about that. Um, I'm still in the script writing phase, so uh, we haven't sort of committed anywhere. I'm sort of very curious for them to, to see where the story goes before we sort of land with a partner. But we, we did just sell the short to uh, Alta, which is the streaming platform for Gunpowder and Sky. So I think from next month, it will be available on that platform, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, now we're just really sort of, uh, you know, my producer George and the other producer Josh Batcho is is really uh, giving me a kick up the butt uh, every day almost like wh when's the script ready uh, so that we can basically take it out and hopefully find a home for this thing. Okay brilliant so if people want to follow you guys follow the progress of the short see where they can see it if they if they stumble across this interview and they think it sounds they see the trailer and think it sounds really interesting how can they find out more information about the film and your guys future projects as well? Uh, uh, so we have a production company that David, I, uh, David and I own. It's called Alpha Wolves Television, just alphawolves.tv. Um, and Snake Dick has its own Instagram and website, snakedick.com and Snake Dick Movie at Instagram. Fantastic. I'll make sure they come up on the screen so people can follow your guys' journey. Um, yeah, thank you so much for sharing the film with us. We can't wait to show it. I, I think this, this shorts block has sold like crazy. So... Uh, it, awesome. There's going to be a lot of people on here watching it today, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for sharing it with us, and I know it will go uh, on to many more festivals and have loads of success. Thank, thank you so much. much. Thanks for having us, man. Appreciate it. Cheers. Here, man.